What's up guys, Call51 here, and I'm here to talk about Tekken 7 for Steam, PS4, and Xbox One. Let's get into it. So Tekken 7 is a 3D fighting game developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. The director is Katsuhiro Harada, who's worked on other games such as Pokken, and uh, even uh, the new VR exclusive Summer Lesson. And this is the ninth game in the Tekken series. Uh, I know it says Tekken 7, but it is actually the ninth game. You gotta count the tag games as well, because they are fully fledged Tekken games. And it's the first game to use the Unreal Engine, uh, Unreal Engine 4 to be specific. And uh, Tekken 7 originally was only in arcades, uh, I think one, I think it started in March 2015. And then an updated version of that, which was Tekken 7 Faded Retribution, came out in Japan in July 2016. And it, it featured, it was like pretty much a big expansion. It was like, a, 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 it was big, it was great. It included characters like Akuma and everyone. It was, it was a great version. I personally played this in Japan and I was hooked. I, I loved it. I loved it so much. So when, so when the home console version was released just, uh, just, uh, just this year, uh, June 2nd, uh, I had to try it. I had to, I had to buy it, uh, I got it, and, you know, I tried every, it, it, it's very clear after playing for a bit and seeing the new things that it has to offer, there was a big reason why this game took so long from the arcade to the home console release. And the biggest things were... Um, the inclusion of uh, an inst a big dynamic story mode. I, I say dynamic, but I actually mean cinematic. It's it does. There's no really. There's no choices or anything like that. It's a very cool. Just like, just it's it's an anime story. It just goes through. Uh, it goes through the Mishima or like the Mishima sort of story. Uh, the the like you know storyline, and it's like a saga. It, it it's built in two different ways. It's built as like a, a, a progressive story. Um, uh, with chapters, uh, it's kind of um, framed in a really strange way, but I guess it, it, it kind of works. Um, you're you're playing, uh, you're you're following like this reporter who's reporting on the entire Mishima conflict with um, Heiachi uh, and uh, Kazuya, and their ongoing war between each other, the Mishima Zabatsu and the uh, G Corporation. And you see characters come in, and like guest characters, and you know, and you've got character. Uh, character sort of stuff as well. So your character sort of um, stories, which are single battles, but they have a little bit of extra story. They give, give a little bit of extra, uh, uh, you know, background to what characters are doing that aren't in the big story mode. So let me touch on graphics for a second. This game is really, really pretty. It is stunning, actually. And um, whether you're playing on PC, PS4, Xbox One. This game is a looker. It is like some of the effects are great. It looks smooth. It's uh, the one thing that really um, stood out to me because I played a little bit. Uh, I played a, quite quite a bit of Tekken Five. Uh, I think it was Dark Dark Resurrection. I think and um, was the absence of um, motion blur. I think uh, I think that was one of the things that really stood out to me at most. Because I noticed that it was really crisp, and you know, it, some people like it, some don't. I, 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 it's the one thing I noticed. That's all, and it's whether whether you take away from it, it is not in this game. So, you know, if you're expecting motion blur and like like really like that style from like I think Tech Attack Two had it as well, um, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed that it's not in this option. It's not even in the PC version, so it's like you know I think it's standard for all of them. Uh, yep. Yeah, so Unreal Engine Four is this game's base, and it looks great. Uh. You know, when, when in the story mode, when you see the, the cuts between CG and to gameplay, you know, it's it's not, it's really smooth. It's really nice. You know, it's really pretty. So, graphics wise, it's good. It's great, actually. And, you know, it runs, if you want to get really technical into it, um, technical into it, PC can run at 4K. X, I think PS4 runs at 900p and Xbox One runs at 720p. After a while, you really don't matter because the one important thing is that it runs at 60 frames per second. It is smooth. Uh, you have a, a plethora of options that you can adjust for this game, and that's good. You know, I've tried. I've run it on my system, which was really well beyond minimum um, requirements, and I can run it at 60 frames, and it's it looks pretty as well. So it's surprisingly optimized. It's you know you can go high and low and. You know, as a joke, I tried running it on my Surface Pro 3, and, you know, obviously, my Surface Pro 3 doesn't even have a graphics card, it doesn't have anything like that, it just has a pretty good processor. And it was able to run the game at a smooth 30. 
which is surprising for a game like this. So it's like, you know, you got options. Low end systems don't feel don't have to feel like they're being left out, you know, there are options. Obviously if you're running a computer that doesn't have a graphics card or it's super low, yeah, you might be have to be careful. But if you got a decent graphics card, you know, uh, that has I think, I think this game requires DirectX 11, you should be okay. You should be pretty golden to play this game. And yeah, so going from the graphics over to sound. So sound is really good. I love the tracks in this game, you know. Obviously, I don't really have a big, a big affinity to Tekken music tracks, so I can't really compare from older ones. But from the new ones I've heard, I love. This is the one thing I love in fighting games. And it's done. it's been done bad in other fighting games, which I've seen. But in Tekken 7, it does it really well. It is when you reach the final round, or the potential final round, match point, if you want to if you want to get specific match point of a round you will the, the music would kind of change to a, ver, a special version of that song which is very high tense and you know the pace is quicker and i love that i love that so much um it's it really gives that like every single battle some like it just makes it feel so organic you know like it's not just like you know the same track over and over the one game that i can give an example for which they kind of ruined this was um, a game called Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax, uh, yeah, Fighting Climax Ignition, I think it's Ignition version. So when you get to the final round, it stops all music and then it plays another track, which is a vocal track, but it has like not nothing in the beginning until they start, like the beat starts coming in. So it really does interrupt the flow. But with Tekken 7, it doesn't do that. It actually just goes straight in. And the only, the only stage that doesn't do this is the training stage, which is very understandable. It's a nice chill track. That's fine, you're practicing, you know? So, gameplay. So, Tekken... Tekken's gone through a lot. Tekken 7's gone through a lot of changes compared to old Tekken's. And, um, the first things I noticed was that it has an inclusion of a new mechanic called a Rage System. In which, when you get down to low percentage of health, so let's say, I think 20, or maybe 30, I think it's 25, I don't know the exact number, but you, when you get low percentage, your health bar glows red, and you have access to two extra abilities. Uh, a Rage Art and a Rage Drive. A Rage Art is like uh, very comparable to an Ultra or a Super in other like in like Street Fighter. Um, it 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 doesn't require any meter. It just requires that you be in Rage or like the red uh, glowing bar mode, and you have a Rage Drive, which is like which honestly I don't quite super understand, but that that's fine because I'm really you know quite new to this game but i feel like it's a it's it's something that you use to extend combos or it's just an extra move that does just a little bit more damage and it's executable straight away so you're not it's, it's not relying on a, a, a single hit grab or anything like that or a single punch to activate uh, a little cinematic move or anything like that i think that's it's it's works that's the way it works but i could be completely wrong so it, keep in mind tekken is a very nuanced sort of game and what appeals to me is that uh, the 3D movement I'm used to not using 3D movement so having 3D movement in a, like, in a game it really changes the way you play like you, you move side to side and you you know you, 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 you when you like um, hit a mo like moves uh, change properties when you move from the side to side and I find that interesting enough to me to make me want to learn and you know Tekken I feel like has is Tekken has always been the game that you, you you hand your controller over to a friend and they can pick up and they can just play and they can just have a good time and they can learn. It's so accessible and yet it has a lot of depth to it. And that that's what makes you want to learn these amazing strings of combos, you know? It looks great, you know. You feel like you're learning, you're progressing, you know. You want to find out what works, what doesn't work. So with Tekken, I feel this is newcomer friendly but also doesn't neglect the, the the hardcore Tekken players because all the depth is still there it's just been reworked to give a little bit more chance for the newcomers to really you know jump in and with fighting games you want people to jump in you know you don't want a game to just like alienate an, an audience and it hurts you know it, 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 there's nothing more sad than jumping online and there's no one playing or you get, like you want to offer like hey you want to play some Tekken and yeah that's it so let's say in terms of story uh, story's good. So the story mode's fantastic. You should check. It, it's it's the Mishima clan going through all this uh, story stuff. Tekken story hasn't really been a focus, but this Tekken installment is definitely a focus on story. So you definitely want to like 
try it out. I think it's worth actually worth so much. Uh, so yeah, not really much to say about that. It's just a really good story mode, and it's it, you know it makes the package feel much more fuller. It makes it a, a full game, which is nice. Final verdict: uh, Should you get Tekken Seven? Yes, definitely. No doubt about it. It is probably one of the best fighting games to release this year, and it's gonna be it's gonna be stuff forward. And the future of this game is actually really good because um, Bandai Namco have confirmed that future characters, future Tekken characters, will be free. But there will be a season pass for guest characters like Akuma, and we don't know that yet. And that's the exciting thing. You want to continually bring hype to games like this. So the, the expanding roster, both free and paid, is a smart idea. And I didn't even go through all the customization options. You can do everything. There's actually millions of costumes that you can get by just playing in-game money. So it's a fully featured game, and it, should, it is definitely worth your time to get. So I definitely rate Tekken 7 a uh, get. You need to get this game. It is fantastic. Netcode's great. It, everything. Everything about it is fantastic so far. I've had nearly no problems playing this game. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more of this video, uh, you know, just let me know on social media, and I'll I'll make it. So, yeah. Call if you want out. Have a good day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.